summertime finally feels like it's here. It's been a really long winter here in Maine. It was bitterly cold and we had lots of snow and so we're really welcoming summer with open arms. In order to get my dogs ready for summer, I like to prepare some treats for them to help keep them cool when the temperatures rise. And this year I found these awesome treats. This is from a company called Cooper's Treats. And this is their Popsicle Starter Kit. So if you look back through some of my recipes, I've shared dog Popsicle recipes before or some frozen treats that you can use for your pets. Sometimes they're just like a big block of ice with some toys or treats hidden in it. Can be fun for your dog to lick and chew on on a hot day. These popsicles are really great because they're actually healthy. They're designed to add nutritional value to your dog's diet and not just be a fun snack, but kind of two birds with one stone. So the starter kit I love, it comes with this little mold. You can see the paw prints and the bones. And then it comes with two popsicle mixes. This is a beef and cheddar and this is a turkey and cinnamon. I will show you how to make the treats and tell you a little bit about the nutritional value of the treats as well. If you have more questions, you can always click the link below the video. That will take you to my detailed written review and all this information is in there as well. Also the links to Cooper's treats so you can grab these for yourself if you're interested. These treats are just healthy for your pup. They're super easy to make. All you have to do is mix equal parts water and the popsicle mix. So the starter kit comes with the turkey and cinnamon as well as the beef and cheddar mix. I'm gonna use the turkey. I like to do it in a measuring cup with a pour spout because it's just easier to pour it into the mold. I have a half a cup of water in my measuring cup and I'm just gonna add mix until we hit the one cup line. I have three dogs, so I'm gonna make a lot of mix. Just so you know, it takes about four tablespoons of the mix to make one of the treats that come with the popsicle mix. Obviously, you can use different molds, make bigger treats if you want, but I'm just gonna give this a good mix. You can smell the cinnamon in this mixture. I love that these are as healthy for your dog as they are easy to make. There's only four all natural ingredients in each of the recipes. So no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives. They're made with real meat, which means they're packed with high quality protein. I love that these are sourced in the United States. The mix is actually made in San Diego, California. All of the ingredients are sourced in the US, so you don't need to worry about that. Now that the mix is made, I just pour it into the molds and then you're gonna freeze it for at least two hours before they're gonna be ready for your dog. As I mentioned, I have three dogs, so I use these molds. I also use a couple of bigger molds that I have, silicone molds I usually use for um, my baked dog treats, and I, I use them for the frozen ones as well, just because we obviously go through quite a few treats, and I have a 75 pound lab, sometimes she'll eat two at a time, depending on the treat. If you click the link below the video, you'll see my written guide about the product. All the nutrition information is in there as well, so you can check that out if you're interested. So the beef and cheddar popsicle mix are made with freeze-dried beef, whole wheat flour, whole egg protein, and cheddar cheese packer. They have 23% protein, only 7.7% .7 fat. The turkey and cinnamon popsicle mix that I made here is made with freeze-dried turkey, whole wheat flour, whole egg protein, and cinnamon. 26.6% protein and only 1.75% fat. So a nice low fat treat you could use as training or just as a nice way to cool your dog off in the summertime when the temperatures rise. The starter kit is $29.99 and then you can buy just the powder separately if you'd like to do that. Again, all of the information is in my written product review. Click the link below the video to check that out. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us.